What's up guys, Juicy Messi here. Welcome to a brand new video. Welcome to some more FIFA 17 Ultimate Team Player Ratings. And in particular today, we're looking at a top 10 shooting stat as well as a top 10 highest shot power. So two more categories to cover and we're very close now, so close. In fact, it's just around the corner away from FIFA 17. I cannot wait, just wanna get my hands on the game and get you guys some gameplay content. So before we get any further, as always, if you're trying to smash 1,000 fire likes, that'd be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for today if you for content and in the comments below let me your thoughts on these player ratings if you missed yesterday's video it'll be down below in that description box and finally if you're looking to buy some msp or psn codes ready for fever 17 check out gtway.com down below and use gc3 for a discount so we are going to start off with the top 10 shooting stats on the game and most of these we have seen so i can't go through this one a little bit quicker so in at number 10 is a new player we have not seen yet Lukas Podolski. He's an 80 rated right midfielder for Galatasaray in the Turkish League. He's got 82 pace, 77 dribbling, 86 shot, 75 passing and 71 physical. Two star weak foot, three star skill moves. He is left footed though, so cutting in on that left foot could be deadly. I'm assuming he done very well last season because he did end up getting a tots cut. So Podolski is at number 10, so a new player. At number nine, we've got Dybala, who we have already seen. He's 85 rated this year with 88 pace, 90 dribbling, 86 shooting, 76 passing, and 66 physical. Five foot nine, medium, medium work rates, left footed, three star weak foot, four star skill moves. Hopefully a very good player on the game. I loved him this year, and hopefully again, keeps up his form and gets some special cards along the way. Number eight, we've got his teammate, is uh, also international teammate now, Gonzalo Higuain. Actually, no, I think Higuain was dropped for Dybala in the national team. But either way, Higuain is now 88 rated after a fantastic season for Napoli and then a 90 million euro switch to Juventus. 80 pace, 87 shot, and 82 dribbling are his key stats. Four star weak foot, three star skill moves, but again, we have already seen him. Then we've gone to Robert Lewandowski. I'm pretty sure every single player from now on we have seen. So he has got 87 shooting, 81 pace, and 85 dribbling, 82 physical, four star weak foot, three star skill moves, unfortunately. I was really hoping for 4-4, four, four, uh, but obviously we can't get everything. But Lewandowski, 90 rated striker, followed by Gareth Bale at number six this time with 87 shooting as well. He is now a 90 rated right winger with 94 pace 86 dribbling 87 shooting 84 passing and 76 physical three star weak foot four star skill moves can be unreal in game then we've gone to Sergio Aguero with a new Man City badge right there. I hope they update his picture. So I think that's a couple of years old now. He's the second highest striker in the Premier League. We'll cover the man in first in just a moment. He's got 89 pace, 89 dribbling, 88 shot, 70 physical, 75 passing, four star weak foot, four star skill. He's a fantastic striker there and definitely be one of the best in the game, I'm assuming. Then we go on to Luis Suarez, 92 rated. He's the joint third highest rated player on the game, just behind Messi and Ronaldo, alongside his teammate Neymar. So four star skill moves, four star weak foot, in my opinion, and a lot of other people's opinions, he's the best striker in the world. He scores goals so far right now in the trio of MSN. 82 pace, 90 shooting, 87 dribbling, 79 passing, and 79 physical. Now we go on to Zlatan Ibrahimovic, the highest rated player um, or joint highest rated player and the highest striker in the Premier League now. Obviously, he made the switch from PSG to go to Manchester United on a free transfer. Unfortunately, though, four star skill moves. I think everyone wants a five star Zlatan like he deserves. Some players got five star that are questionable and Ibra wasn't on that list. But still, he has got 90 shot on card. 81 passing, 86 physical and 85 dribbling. Six of five going to be a bit of a brute. Now we've gone to number two, Lionel Messi, and he's also the second highest rated player on the game. He is 93 rated now, 90 shooting, 96 dribbling, and 89 pace, and 86 passing. But we all know who number one is going to be, and it's probably deserved in my opinion. That is going to be the highest rated player on the game, Cristiano Ronaldo, who is 94 rated. His shot on card is 92, 92 pace, and 91 dribbling on top of that. 81 passing, 80 physical, four star weak foot, five star skill moves. Probably should have five star weak foot, uh, but still, he's got some unreal stats. And that represents the season he's just had. And now we got onto top 10 shot power, and we have not seen most of these players, if I'm incorrect, or they haven't seen the full list like top three or four. Uh, so Kolarov is at number 10 with 69 shot on card. That's basically because he hasn't got fantastic finishing. But one thing he's always had is great long shots, great free kicks, and unbelievable shot power. I mean, he has scored some bangers in his career so far, and I expect he was score a couple more before he retires. So I haven't got the actual number, what the shot power is, but I'm assuming um, probably just over 90 or so about that. 
Then we got to number nine, Gareth Bale, who again, we have already seen. If I do somehow find out the shot power in game though, before this video goes live, I will put it into the bottom right or whatever, and you will see the stat there. Now, as we move on to number eight, I'm really excited about this one. It's a silver player, and we go right now to number eight. There we go, Taiwo. If you've played FIFA like 11, 10, 12 and stuff, you will remember who he is. Back in the day, he was a left back or a left wing back for Marseille. Then he moved to AC Milan and on FIFA 12, had one of the best long shots on the game and best free kicks. This is like an ultimate nostalgia card, although he's now a centre back. He's six foot tall, so he's tall enough for that. 81 pace, 71 defending, 76 physical and has a banger on him. So he can do everything. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think he plays right now uh, for Helsinki. So it might be quite difficult to put into a team. Although if you've got the coins, just stick a legend next to him. I mean, you could play a three at the back and put Taiwo at left centre back, put JJ Kotra at centre mid and go from there. Player number seven is going to be another silver. This time is a Spaniard by the name of Pitti. He plays for Rayo Vallecano, so I think is currently in the second division of Spain uh, in the Liga Adelante, but he will link up if I, I think Zuccolini went to Vallecano. He has four star week with three star skill moves, 61 pace isn't the best, but 74 shots, 74 passing and 72 dribbling on a silver cam, the 73 rated, that'll be very good in game. Number six is another silver, this time a Derby County player in Bradley Johnson. He had a Tots card a couple of years ago uh, playing for, I can't remember who it was. Is it Norwich? Yeah, I think it was Norwich. But either way, three star skill moves, 68 pace, 76 shot, and a 70 dribbling. Also, 81 physical. He could be a very solid championship player. We'll have to wait and see though. Now we go on to Tom Huddleston, a non-rare 75 with 71 shot, 79 passing, 70 defending and 72 physical. Now, of course, in the Premier League with Hull City, he's 6 foot 2, low medium work rate, 5 star week for 3 star skill moves. Now, it's not the type of player I'd personally use, but I know some people may. He'll be very, very budget and 5 star week for with some cracking long shots and stuff. That could be pretty good for a lot of people. I'm assuming within the first week or so, he'll definitely be very close if not already discard value because he's not he's not the most desirable of players. There's a lot of better um, English centre midfielders in the Premier League, but again, 5 star week for can't really complain. Now we go on to number four, a centre back, another new player, 84 rated Naldo at Schalke. So he's moved on from Wolfsburg on a free transfer and he's six foot six, 72 pace, 86 defending, 69 shot, 74 physical, and a four star weight foot, two star skill moves. He has high medium work rates and as a player, I love using on FIFA. He's so good. Uh, FIFA 16 in particular, when he got the 85 rated card, uh, maybe even, eight, no, yeah, it's 85, not 86. Um, but he's just six foot six, very good pace, very good shot on him, and he wins a lot of stuff from corners. And that could be very, very useful given the fact that now set pieces have been rewritten and I think you can control the, uh, the defenders or the player inside the box. So make a near post run with him and you could get a lot of goals. Or alternatively, make the most out of his shot part and bank some in from 35 yards with a free kick or just a long shot. Now we move on to Lucas Podolski, who was in the top 10 shooting. So I'm not going to talk about him too much as it's very much expected. Number two is another player that featured before, Zatan Ibrahimovic. Again, like Podolski and Bell and stuff, we have already seen him. But number one, the highest shot power in the game is going to be... Cristiano Ronaldo. I'm pretty sure during these lists of players and um, like in-game stats wise and player like card stats, I'm pretty sure they don't include legends because again, they are only on Xbox. They did show Pele and also a Kocha on the five star skill list, but that kind of makes sense. It doesn't include any in-game stats, but again, shot power and stuff. I think Roberto Carlos will be very high up, but again, legends are not included. So that is going to be the end of the video, guys. If you enjoyed it, smash the like button. 1,000 fires likes would be absolutely awesome. If you're new to my channel, click the subscribe button for daily FIFA content in the comments below and your thoughts on these player ratings and again if the shot power ratings do come out i will put it in the bottom corner if you missed yesterday's video it will be down below in that description box and finally if you're looking to buy some msp or psn codes check out g2a.com down below and use gc3 for a discount so thank you for watching this video and i'll see you next time